channel. For today's video, I'll be showing you guys a step-by-step -step on how to create this DIY mirror frame. This is a renter-friendly option if you want to upgrade your mirror. It involves no screws, no nails, and it won't scratch your mirror. If you guys want to see how I created this, please keep on watching. First things first, we need to find out the measurement of the mirror, which mine ended up being 16 inches in width and 26 inches in height. Let's head to our local Home Depot, and we are going to walk to the molding aisle. Section, there is a variety of wood trim you can choose from or you can get the one I chose which is finger joint pine On the same aisle, they have this cut-it-yourself cart. It's pretty useful. There is always a saw and measuring tape for you to use. Here, I am measuring the total inches I need and giving myself an extra 2 inches just to be on the safe side. My total was 84 inches plus the 2 inches. My overall total came out to 86 inches. I'll be cutting the 86 inches that I need. And leaving the extra in this recycle bin. My total for the wood was $7.17. These are going to be the tools we will be needing. The wood we just picked up, a handsaw, sandpaper, wood stain, staple gun, pencil, and an elastic band. For the wood, we are going to measure and mark two 16 inches and two 26 inches. We are going to have a total of four pieces of wood. If you don't have an electric saw, another option would be asking the Home Depot employees if they can cut the wood for you. It's usually free, but sometimes they will have a fee for about 10 cents. Now we are going to cut where we made a mark. At the end, we should have a total of four pieces. Now that we have our pieces cut, we are going to sand down the edges to make them smooth. Once that is done, we are going to look for the soft edge and place that as the outer edge of our frame. 
your frame should be looking something like this. Now we are going to staple all four corners together. There was a lot of ways you could do this. I chose this route because it will be the one that won't damage the mirror once hung. This is optional, but I decided to stain my wood. And for that, I am using a piece of sleeve I cut off from one of my old sweaters. So the stain won't be as harsh. I am dabbing the stain first on the bag and then on the wood. and we will be coating all the sides of the wood. We will let the wood rest until dry. Once the wood has dried, we are going to flip the frame. Now we are going to cut four pieces of elastic band like so. Now we are going to staple the elastic band onto the wood. There is also other alternatives of mounting the frame. If your mirror is different from mine and you need help, you can also let me know down in the comment section below and I will do my best to help you out. But since my mirror is also a medicine cabinet, it's a very high traffic area. The safer option to go was with the elastic band. That way I know it'll be secure. The easiest way to place the mirror is by putting in one corner first. Then you take the elastic band and you stretch it over the mirror. For the bottom corner you will do the same. You will grab the elastic and you will stretch it over the mirror. If your elastic got folded like mine did, you can go back and unfold them. Once it is in place, you can position the frame until it's straight. This was my mirror before, boring and outdated. Now let's see the difference it made by putting a frame on it.
I hope you guys like this DIY and it helped you in some way. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys want to see more videos. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. <laughs>